grew up in a uh, household of small business people and uh, my father and mother owned a farm um, and a small restaurant and so I think one of the things that I learned early on in life was a lot about hard work um, and also about the value of education. One of the things that really characterized um, where I would focus the hardest was when I saw the hardest challenges. It was one of the things that always caused me to gravitate towards math and science. It's always mattered to me what people do with science and how they make it real and make it into products that real people use. So coming to IBM was the opportunity to work in a really top-notch scientific research environment but also have an impact on products that would make a difference in the world. Um, and it was really kind of a dream job. Words to describe Carol. Energy. Passion. Knowledge. And a love for winning. No one who knows Carol will be surprised when I say she is a, a hard taskmaster. Um, she has a very high standard of performance. She drives us all very hard, but it's been a really excellent experience for me. Carol is no wallflower. <laughs> you clearly will get a sense of her passion for technology, her passion for success, and her resolve in terms of executing regardless of how challenging the opportunity or situation may be. I think my personal philosophy is about doing something that you love. And I think it also goes with a question that a lot of women, including myself, wrestle with all the time, which is, um, which is balance and getting a real balance in your, in your life between what you do at work and what you do when you're not at work. So, you know, I think the key to that is, is loving what you do. Let's face it, you spend too much time and too much energy and too much of your own sort of self not to, um, not to care about what you do. I think I'm most proud of the work that I've done over the last several years to create the Life Sciences Group in IBM. Um, it's been for me personally very gratifying. It let me come back to my original scientific roots um, and also to work in an area that I believe is the next most exciting scientific revolution that's going to happen to the world. Carol is, is, is an interesting person to mentor. She's, she's about 10 steps ahead of me all the time on everything. <laughs> and just a, a very exciting person. She's uh, enthusiastic all the time. She's, she's got uh, new ideas. She's just going straight ahead. And so I, she didn't need a lot of mentoring from me. <laughs> to have a good mentor, the, probably the first thing that's important is, um, is that it's a relationship that's based on absolute, absolute honesty. Honesty. So the best mentors that I have had have been, you know, uh, not just honest, but sometimes brutally honest. She pushes me uh, when, I, when I find that I'm getting stopped or frustrated or not uh, knowing what avenue to take. She continues to push me, but also to encourage the things that I've done on my own. So it, it really is a balanced relationship. Instead of saying, this is what I'll do for you, this is, this is how I'll help you, she says, what do you want from this? and this is how you can help yourself there. If I had to pick a word to describe myself, I would say, um, I would say passionate, hardworking, dedicated, loyal, um, funny. <laughs> I would paraphrase a quote by Winston Churchill. The quote goes something like this, sometimes our best isn't good enough, thus we must simply do what's required. That's Carol. She's going to get it done. You can't ask for any more than that. That's enough. You have enough words about me. <laughs>